Race number five is the first leg of the triple trio with a nice jackpot as well, 2.2 going into the pool, so an estimated dividend in the region of $6 million. Class four, 1,200 metres set the trip. Sky Show takes the drop-in class. Drop-in trip as well, down from the 1650. We've got Lucky With You, All Beauty and Flying Dragon, who all ran really well on debut, finishing second, set the three of them. Good runner on debut, finished sixth to Blaze Warrior. I Believe in Magic makes his debut. We've got Treasure Field, also ran well. Lightly raced behind Blaze Warrior, just his second start when he ran third and down to Millennium Falcon. Chris So and Wagner Borges, he's yet to win or place in five starts so far as the cheek pieces come off. The key runners here as far as the speed is concerned, Mark. Well, lucky with you, Andrew. Outside the Lido, off a good pace, he's probably going to be favourite on his debut. He certainly is early. Flying Dragon, he's a bit close than his first start, second behind Lucky. Quality up in distance as well. Sky Show's down in grade or get a perfect trip behind Circuit 7, who has improved but still needs to find a few lengths. Outside them, All Beauty was a runner-up on debut. He's three wide with some cover. We go back to Dragon Baby. He was lame on that seventh behind Murado last time. All right, we can start off that uh, form race itself then with um, uh, All Beauty and Dragon Baby finishing second and seventh respectively, Paul, behind Murata. Yeah, well, I thought it was a really good uh, debut run here from All Beauty. Um, look, he's, he's drawn a bit awkwardly in barrier number 13, but looks a really nice recruit here, so he definitely uh, makes it. And Dragon Baby, I haven't quite made it in uh, to the numbers. He's had a few starts now, but uh, All Beauty I've definitely included. He's in my top four as well, and we get a bit of a guide on this race too with Zarsian and Gluck Racer finishing third and fourth behind him, of course, in the race prior. Uh, All Beauty was in the market there at 9.1, as was uh, this horse as well, down the straight, Flying Dragon, finishing second over the 1,000 metres behind Lucky Quality. Mark, he went off at uh, 7.2. He did. I found a spot too for Flying Dragon. The further they went, the better he looked. It looked like he was gone here at the 300 metre mark, but he gets going again, and he finds the line. We'll have learnt from this too. Bit green, you can see Neil Callan hard at work and he responds to that hard riding. Millennium Falcon disappointing, Paul. He'll appreciate the uh, step up in distance, but just couldn't have him on that run. Yeah, look, he was right on the cusp again. Another one, uh, Flying Dragon, but didn't didn't quite make it in. But it was a good debut run. Being by Pure and Canto, the 1,200 looks good. All right, another horse, just a one start under his belt. I'm sure we'll get interest here because he was, so was money for him on debut. Is lucky with you, and he'll be ridden by Chad Schofield. Chad, lucky with you going round at uh, Class 4, uh, 1,200 metres for David Hayes. He's a horse that's created a little bit of an impression since he's been here. Uh, what did you make of his first up run when he had to sit up outside the leader and the eventual winner? Yeah, it was a good run in defeat. Um, we, we thought he'd run well off his work leading into it. Um, you know, they, they ran home in pretty slick sectionals, so um, after viewing them after the race, I was obviously initially disappointed he got beat, but after viewing the sectionals, it was a very good run in defeat. And, um, it looks like his recent trial, um, looks like he's progressed and come on, so um, looking forward to riding him. I was about to ask about the, the trial. I know Zach was on board, but you've watched it. Were you excited with what you saw, uh, how he performed the other day? Yeah, I mean, he looked good. He just he cruised under his own steam, and um, I, I know he's, he's a horse with ability, so it wasn't surprising to see him trial that well, but definitely pleasing. Is he a horse that needs a, a little bit of speed on during the race just to, to get him there at the end? No, not necessarily. He's very he's bomb-proof to ride. He's a very lightly raced and inexperienced, but um, he's very easy to ride. He can race up in the pace or he'd have no problem switching off behind a runner. And he's our favourite as well. Lucky with you on his second start. He does get barrier number 10, so that might make it interesting. But what do you think, Paul? No, I think he can win um, Lucky with you. I thought it was a really good debut run from him. And as... Chad said those sectionals were pretty strong. So uh, with the natural improvement, he's definitely on top for me. The four, uh, the five, all beauty. He went well on debut as well. Sky Show, um, he's coming back here to Charlton. I think he's a better horse here at Charlton. And look, I'm going to put one in at a, at a bit of a price, which is 12, Viva Hunter. You now, he trialled really well before his debut run at Happy Valley. He's had two runs at Happy Valley. But I think he's going to be a lot better suited here at Charlton. So I just wanted to put him in at a price. Four, five, one and 12. Same top two as Paul, four to beat five. Really good debut by Lucky with you when you see the times and the trial was excellent that we just saw as well. All Beauty, nothing wrong with his first start. Likewise, Flying Dragon looked better the further they went. And Sky Show at the top, he's down in grade, he's drawn barrier one. He's back from the 1650 to the 1200 metres, but he has raced well in class four previously. Four, five, six and one. I think Lucky With You is the one to beat, isn't he? But uh, I thought he'd come up quite short, um, so maybe take a little chance with Sky Show off the inside gate. He might be an each-way price here. Race number five, first leg of the triple trio as well, the fifth, class four, over the 1,200.